Basketball Association Championships. Please direct your attention to the video holders as we remember Bell Daniels. It was the 1970s in the heartland, and fans flocked to the Indiana State Fairgrounds Coliseum to catch a glimpse of their Pacers and one of the main attractions of the American Basketball Association, Mel Daniels. I grew up a Pacer fan. I watched that on the news. So that's my, really my first look at professional basketball. And it was hard to miss Daniels out on the court. He was an intimidating physical presence who made a lasting impression on fans and opponents alike. Mel Daniels will break your fingers if you shake your hand. If you walk over right now, I would shake your hand. So it's just like, hey man, go back, go away, whatever, give me see. Daniels was drafted by the Minnesota Muskies in 1967, before the ABA's inaugural season. He earned the league's first Rookie of the Year award, and soon, another team began to covet his talents. Part of a postseason train on the Indiana Pacers, Daniels should definitely help Coach Bob Leonard from last season's third place club into championship contention. And Daniels did just that, elevating Indiana to one of the elite teams in the league. Now Daniels rebounds, and he's done. He would become the leading rebounder in NBA history, controlling the paint with his trademark intensity. I think he was the first guy to hear growling and basketball in the court. He grabbed rebounds and he blocked the shot. Score basketball. It wasn't long before Daniels led the Pacers to the ABA Mountaintop, a championship in 1970 and then twice more in 1972 and 73. He was the main guy. He was the mainstay that anchored the three championships for the Indiana Pacers. Daniels won two League Most Valuable Player Awards, made seven All-Star appearances, and carved his own spot in the rich tradition of Indiana basketball. And I was the hero. He was a guy who you could count on. I think the consistency of his performances night in and night out made the Pacers the ABA's most successful franchise in his nine year history. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the radio.